Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, we're going to be taking a look at something on the Steam Deck that I actually haven't seen a lot of people talking about. And that's going to be Remote Play. We're also going to take a look at a couple other cheaper devices that we can use this with. And when it comes down to it, I'm a huge fan of the Steam Deck. But as a lot of us already know, we do have to drop a lot of these games down to basically low settings or original settings with something like God of War. And I'm really talking about the newer AAA games. With indie titles, we're good to go at 60 FPS, and, uh, you know, they definitely look good on this 800p display. But uh, one thing I've been experimenting with lately is remote play on the Steam Deck. So right now, I've only got one game natively installed on the internal storage of the Steam Deck, and that's Apex Legends. But we're going to go ahead and stream God of War from my main gaming PC in the house. I'm connected on a 5 gigahertz network. I've got a Wi-Fi 6 router. My main PC that this is going to be streaming from is plugged in through Ethernet. Obviously, the Steam Deck itself is on Wi-Fi. But as you can see, we did get our Afterburner overlay popped up, and that's because I'm streaming from my Windows gaming PC. So this setup has an Alder Lake i9-12900K. We've also got an RTX 3080 Ti. Definitely overkill for running these at 720p or 800p ultra settings. But as you can see, we're at a constant 60 here. And I've got the game running at ultra settings. And I gotta say, this does look much better running like this over remote play than it does running natively on the Steam Deck itself with FSR set to performance, original settings, you know, at 30 FPS. And I haven't really done any kind of tweaking. We've got minimal input latency, and this is fully playable. A single player AAA game is playable using remote play. I wouldn't recommend this for playing competitively online, you know, a multiplayer game, especially like a fighting game, but playing it for fun in the house is totally feasible. Real quick, here's one more. This is Elden Ring streaming from my gaming PC. And when this is running natively on the Steam Deck, I can get an average of around 46 FPS. It does drop down into the high 30s every once in a while, but that's at low settings with FSR turned completely on. But right now we're at maximum settings and it's running at a constant 60. I mean, and it looks really, really good. But now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set this up. And the first thing we need to do is move over to the PC we wanna stream from. Okay, so like I mentioned, it's really easy to get this set up, but first thing we need to do is enable remote play on the machine we're going to be streaming from. This is the machine that's going to run the game, and we're going to stream it from this to a different device, be it the Steam Deck, an Android phone, an iPhone, or even an iPad. It doesn't have to be a super powerful machine. I would recommend something like a GTX 1650 with a fourth generation i5. That'll definitely get you by. Or just use whatever you have. It could be a laptop or a desktop. If you're playing games on it, you can stream those games to another device pretty easily. But the one thing I highly recommend is having this machine here on Ethernet. So this is connected over Ethernet. This is going to give me the best connection that I can get in my home. Obviously, the device I'm going to be streaming to, like the Steam Deck, is going to be on Wi-Fi. But if we can keep this on Ethernet, or if you have a really good 5 gigahertz network, then uh, that's definitely the way to go. But I prefer Ethernet on this machine here. And the first thing we need to do is start up Steam. From here, we're going to go to Steam, Settings, and we want to find Remote Play. And right here, enable remote play. So as long as we have this enabled, we can actually see this machine from other devices that are running Steam Link on the same network. Now, from here, we really don't need to mess around with these options. We're going to do that on the other device because this is kind of the client side here. But as long as we have this enabled, we should be able to see this on our home network. We're going to choose OK. And now we can move over to the device we want to stream to. And for this, we're going to be using the Steam Deck, but I'll also show you how to enable it on Android. We're going to go right to Settings, and this is already built into the operating system on the Steam Deck. Remote Play, make sure it's enabled. And if you're signed in with the same Steam account on the Steam Deck and the PC you want to stream from, there's basically nothing else we need to do here. It's automatically going to show up. But there are a few little settings that I like to change on the Steam Deck. Video, I set to Beautiful. Audio, set to Stereo. Performance Overlay, you can turn this on or off. Bandwidth limit, I leave it to automatic. Frame rate limit, 60 FPS. And I turn the resolution limit to 720p. Unfortunately, there's not an 800p setting here, but while you're playing a game, you can change the resolution from the game settings to 800p, so you fill this full screen. And when it's time to play a game, as long as you have it installed on the PC you're streaming from, you can go directly to that game. And instead of playing directly from this device, we can stream it from that device. We've got the drop down here, 
and instead of play, it'll say stream, and we can start it up right here. As long as you have a decent router at the house, this actually works out really well. And one of the best parts about remote play is it basically works on all kinds of different mobile devices, from Android to iOS, so if you can't get your hands on a Steam Deck or you can't afford one, but you do have an iPhone or an Android phone, you can get this to work on that device. So what I have here is a Galaxy A13. This is a cheap phone. I want to say I paid $99 for this one. It is a prepaid version, I believe a straight talk. And you could always play with touch controls, but I would highly recommend using some type of controller. I chose the Razer Kishi, one of my favorite controllers. It connects over USB Type-C. They're around $44 right now. And since we've already set up our PC with Remote Play, all we need to do is head over to Google Play, download the Steam Link app, Make sure we're on the same network, scan our network, and I should have two here on my network, the Steam Deck itself and my main PC. We're gonna choose that one. We're gonna get a pin. Head over to that PC, put your pin in, we're connected and ready to go. Valve has made it extremely easy to use Remote Play or Steam Link with your gaming PC. As long as you're on the same network with Remote Play enabled, it's gonna find that PC and we can start streaming our games directly to our Android device. So it's gonna come up in big picture mode. You can set this up to just be in desktop mode. Personally, I like using big picture mode and with the Razer Kishi, there's already a profile ready to go. So you really don't need to do any kind of controller setup with this specific controller. Get right in here to some Witcher 3. And like I mentioned, this is a cheaper Android device that does have AC Wi-Fi. It's basically just Wi-Fi 5 instead of Wi-Fi 6. But yeah, I mean, at 720p, it can handle it. And if you're an iPhone user, this also works with iPhone. Just head over to the App Store, download the Steam Link app. And when it comes to a controller, this is one I've actually had for a couple months, but haven't used it yet. It's the Backbone. It looks pretty promising, and it should work with the Steam Link app. Oh, wow. It's actually really nice. This is the iPhone 13 Pro, and on my initial connection, it's stating that I can stream up to 100 megabits per second, which is much higher than the Android device that I just tested, and it'll actually allow me to stream up to 120 FPS, and we'll do that with Cyberpunk 2077. So yeah, remote play on the Steam Deck, your Android device, your iPhone, or your iPad does work out really well in the house. I mean, if you've got a PC that can run these games at full speed, you can stream them to another device. There's a ton out there. Like you saw, you can go with the cheap Android phone. If you've already got an iPhone or an iPad, it works with that. You can also install Steam Link on a Raspberry Pi 4, but you know, in the house with the Steam Deck, this is how I've been playing my games recently, and uh, I'm actually really enjoying the experience. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in checking out those controllers I showed you, I will leave some links in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.